Hi, I'm Dr. Karthik Chandra, surgical oncologist from Apollo Cancer Hospital. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and I want to give a special piece of advice to all my friends who are watching this. Unfortunately, breast cancer is the most common cancer among all women worldwide and in India too. And its occurrence in India especially has been increasing over the past few decades. And more unfortunately, its occurrence in younger women is increasing. Now, if you want me to give one single piece of advice regarding how to control breast cancer, that would be detect breast cancer early. And how can you detect breast cancer early? By doing regular self breast examination and also yearly mammograms. Now, at the end of this clip, we are sharing a small video tutorial on how to conduct regular self breast examination. Please follow that and uh, uh, do this self breast examination every month on a fixed date or a fixed day so that uh, any woman can detect a lump which is uh, less than 2 or 3 centimeters in size. Basically, if you detect breast cancer in stage 1, the chance of survival is more than 99%. If you detect a can breast cancer in stage 2, the chance of survival is more than 95%. So you are going to get cured of cancer, cancer even if you have a breast cancer but if you detect it early. Apart from that, getting a yearly mammogram after the age of 45 is essential. And for any other further tips, please contact me. Thank you. Breast cancer accounts for 25% of all cancers in women. One in eight women will develop breast cancer. Regular self-examination is the key to early detection and helps reduce the risk of death from breast cancer by 90%. The power to fight breast cancer is in your hands. Be your own breast examiner. Step 1. Stand in front of a mirror with your shoulders straight and your arms on your hips and look at your breasts. Check for any difference from their usual shape, size, color and contour. Check that they are without visible distortion or swelling. Check for any dimpling, puckering or bulging of the skin that wasn't there before. Check if the nipples have changed position or inverted, pushed inward instead of sticking out. Check for redness, soreness and rash. Check for fluid coming out of the nipples. Could be a watery, milky or yellow fluid or blood. Step 2. Raise your arms above your head and look again at your breasts. Check for any difference from their usual shape, size, color and contour. Check that they are without visible distortion or swelling. Check for any dimpling, puckering or bulging of the skin that wasn't there before. Check if the nipples have changed position or inverted, pushed inward instead of sticking out. Check for redness, soreness and rash. Check for fluid coming out of the nipples. Could be a watery, milky or yellow fluid or blood. Step 3. Next, feel your breasts while you are standing or sitting. Use your right hand to feel your left breast. And then use your left hand to feel your right breast. Use a firm, smooth touch with the first few finger pads of your hand, keeping the fingers flat and together. Be sure to feel all the tissue from the front to the back of your breasts. For the skin and tissue just beneath, use light pressure. Use medium pressure for tissue in the middle of your breasts. Use firm pressure for the deep tissue in the back. Feel for lumps, swelling or thickening of tissue or enlarged lymph nodes. Cover your entire right breast from top to bottom. Start at your collarbone and slowly move down to the top of your abdomen. After the right breast, repeat for your left breast. Cover your entire right breast from side to side. Start from your armpit and move to your cleavage. After the right breast, repeat the same for your left breast. Following a circular pattern, Cover your whole right breast. Begin at the nipple, moving in larger and larger circles 
until you reach the outer edge of the breast. After the right breast, repeat for your left breast. Move your fingers up and down your right breast, meaning vertically in rows, as if you were mowing a lawn. After the right breast, repeat for your left breast. Step 4. Finally, feel your breasts while lying down, using your right hand to feel your left breast and then your left hand to feel your right breast. Just like while standing, feel for lumps, swelling or thickening of tissue or enlarged lymph nodes. Cover your entire right breast from top to bottom. Start at your collarbone and slowly move down to the top of your abdomen. After the right breast, repeat for your left breast. Cover your entire right breast from side to side. Start from your armpit and move to your cleavage. After the right breast, repeat the same for your left breast. Following a circular pattern, cover your whole right breast. Begin at the nipple, moving in larger and larger circles until you reach the outer edge of the breast. After the right breast, repeat for your left breast. Move your fingers up and down your right breast, meaning vertically in rows, as if you were mowing a lawn. After the right breast, repeat for your left breast. How often should you perform self-breast examination? The best time to perform self-breast examination is about a week after the start of your menstruation. Perform it on the same day of each month if you are no longer menstruating, pregnant, breastfeeding or have breast implants. On an important note, self-breast examination is not a substitute for breast cancer screening. If you have any doubts on 